I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I've seen enough rain for one lifetime, but that's not stopping it from raining quite hard again. Hello everyone, and welcome to Friday. So, a bit of good news, um, the vlog, the Camp Fangamer vlog that I've been working on, um, it's pretty much done at this point. Um, I did a second pass, and then in a little bit, Mal and I are going to be watching it for a third pass, but uh, it should be done, and fingers crossed we'll be out tomorrow. Um, but today we're going to talk about something different, something that I don't know if I've ever really talked about, um, and that is my grandfather, my uh, maternal grandfather. Today would have been his 80th birthday. Um, so today would have been my, my grandfather's 80th birthday. Uh, he passed in May of 2009. Um, he had uh, what seems to be... Uh, I, I think he had a heart attack or something. He was, um, he was just found uh, dead in, uh, in his house. Um, and uh, they believe it was, it was heart trouble, heart related. Um, I have a photo of him that I'd like to show you. This is, uh, this is taken three years before in May 2006. I feel like it's the last really good photo I had um, with him. We have another one of... Um, of my, my, my parents with him. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of resemblance between my mom and him, obviously, and uh, quite a bit of resemblance between me and him. His name was James. Uh, he went by Jim. And uh, he, uh, he was a lot of fun. I mean, he was a fantastic guy. And uh, like I said, today he would, have been, he would have been 80 years old. He's been gone now for, uh, for I guess, close to six and a half years. And... Um, I don't know. It's it, it's one of those things that I, I haven't really thought about. Um, my my mom, uh, you know, every year on on Facebook says something uh, in May. You know, this is when you know Dad passed. You know, X many years ago. Um, but she had posted something today where she had said that you know he would have been eighty today, and I don't know why, but it really struck me and. Uh, I thought that I would uh, I would share a, a little bit about that um, because he was he was a fantastic person. He was a musician. Um, he bought me a electric guitar when I was two years old, and uh, he really really wanted a guitar player in the family because my mom played piano, and her brother played drums, and he was always a, a guitarist and um, he really wanted someone in the family to play guitar so he was going to get a guitar player one way or the other and he eventually did he uh he did and uh, i still have that that electric guitar and i i cherish it i can still remember um exactly where i was and what was going on when i got the news uh, that he had passed um it was sophomore year and uh it was several months before the vlog started, which is interesting, um, and one of the reasons why um, I guess we haven't ever talked much about it, because my grandfather had already passed once the vlog had started, but um, uh, I, w I was in sophomore year, uh, I was rooming with Alex, and I was sitting at my computer, I was on Skype with Mao, which I frequently was. Mao and I had been dating for about 15 months, I think, at that point, and uh, I get a call from Dad, and I said, hey, what's up? And as soon as I answered the phone, I could hear my mother in the background just, I mean, screaming and, and bawling and, and crying. And, um, and before my dad even spoke, like, I knew, you know, something was not okay. And uh, getting that news from him that, that he had passed away, it was just su it was such a sudden shock. I mean, he, um, he had no health issues that we knew of. He also hated doctors. Uh, and he would tell you that he was not a fan of, of of doctors. So if he had any sort of pre-established, you know, medical condition, we didn't know about it. Um, but otherwise, he always seemed like he was in extremely good health. So it was a huge shock. And um, I remember, you know, Mao was watching me on Skype while I was on this phone call. And then when I got off the phone, I was like, my grandfather, you know, passed away. And this was, um, it was interesting because my, 
my maternal grandmother, my mom's mom, passed away when I was very young. I was three. And uh, I don't remember her very well. Um, and then the year before, um, and I don't remember the month, but I think it was in May or June of 2008, my paternal grandfather had passed away. My dad's dad passed away. And then a, no more than a year later, my mom's dad passed away. So there was a lot of death in the family in, in a very short amount of time. And um, it, it struck me quite hard. Um, I've, I've always lived away from my extended family. And uh, I haven't ever seen, I, I never got a chance to see my, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins very much growing up. Um, but despite all that, I always felt extremely close to my maternal grandfather, um, to Jim. Um, and my mom has always said, you know, growing up, that I had so many of his mannerisms. Um, it's not just that we, you know, had similar features, uh, our personalities were very, very close. And uh, one of the things that she said, you know, after he passed is that, actually it was other people at the funeral um, had said, once um, once my grandfather had passed, they, they said, you know, as long as he's around, as long as I'm around, um, Jim's never going to leave. Uh, because uh, so so much of, uh, of our, our characteristics, so much of our personality matched. And uh, that's been true. And uh, as long as I'm around, um, my mom's dad still kind of lives through me in, in a little bit. And uh, there's times that that really comes through and, and mom will say, that is exactly what dad would have said or that's exactly what dad would have done. And I enjoy that. Uh, I really enjoy um, seeing that smile show up on her face. Um, it's, it's, a, it's hard to explain. It's a real genuine thing and uh, it's kind of hard to put into words but um, I don't know why I I have such a close personality to him um, because we did spend very little time all things considered together growing up uh, but I'm, I'm glad that it's like that the only thing that makes me sad um, reflecting on this today is that Mallory never got a chance to meet him and um, Mallory started. Mallory and I started dating in March of 2008, and he passed away in May 2009. So it was, like you said, 14, 15 months, and um, it was, it was, it just made me really sad because every time I had spoken to him, um, he would he would ask about her, or um, we talked to friends of his, and they said that he talked about her. And he knew a lot about her, and I, I would talk to him about her, but he never got a chance to, to meet her. And um, that just kind of kills me now, because uh, Mal and I were, were so close, even from the beginning. And, uh, and I, I, I really loved her, and I wanted her to be a part of every aspect of my life, including you know my family. And um, it just has made me really sad to know that he never got a chance to meet her because he talked about her often and um, I know he really wanted to meet her uh, we never my grandfather and I never got uh, had many opportunities especially once I was in in school to to meet up um, there was a few times where my parents would go up there uh, he lived in Maryland um, and there was a few times that he he went down to visit my my family but in from the from the time of 2006 to 2009 I I can count on probably one hand the amount of times I actually saw him. And, uh, you know, of course, when Mal was visiting, um, since we were still in school and still in our long-distance relationship, it, there were very few times, um, or no times, where that o overlapped, where she would have had a chance to meet him. So, yeah. It's one of those things that you just so easily take for granted. You're, you keep thinking, well, you know, it hasn't worked out, but, you know, at some point you're going to get a chance to meet this person. It's going to be awesome. And he never did. So I, I hate to bring it to bring you know the the vlog down, but it's something I wanted to talk about. I don't think I've ever really talked about my grandfather at length, but um, I miss him, and uh, I really loved him. He was a really awesome guy, and uh, I thought we could use today to talk about um, maybe a, a grandparent or someone special in your life who has passed that you'd like to remember and, and talk about. Maybe talk about some good times you had. Um, maybe there's someone who your personality is closely matched with. Maybe you have a similar situation to mine where it's not that you spent a ton of time around this person, 
but um, other people who knew both of you can say, man, you really are the spitting image of you know this person, which I think is really neat. Um, and also, I'll just kind of use this to say, um, you know, you're not promised tomorrow, and, and you don't know what's what's coming, and there may be someone very dear to you that um, is not going to be around much longer, unbeknownst to anyone. And, uh, you know, in, in my particular situation, it was really wanting my grandfather to meet my future wife. And uh, if, if there's someone in, in your life that, you know, you would like them to meet someone, or um, there's, there's something you feel like you really need to do, um, do it. I mean, just try and, and take the time or, or, or the resources or whatever you need to do it because you don't know what's, what's coming. So, that's my story. That's it. And I'm sorry that this vlog ran long and I hope it didn't make any of you too sad. Um, I'm not sad. I am, I'm a little disappointed that he never got to meet her, but um, she... I mean, it, in the words of those people that were at the funeral and also now my mother, um, as long as I'm around... Mallory has had a chance to know my grandfather in some way, so I'm happy about that. All right, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? It's nice to get input on series, and and sometimes it's hard to get input on some of the other series because they're they're not around for a long time. They're around for maybe two or three months, and that's it. Morning Mario is going to be around for quite a while. Yeah. That was that one was pretty good. I mean, I'm hitting walls and stuff, but it's hard, man. It's so hard. When you slam into a wall, that kills your uh, that kills your combo. 